Hello, my fellow geeks. I'm Mark, and today on Elite Geek, I'm going to show you the first upgrade you need to do on your Photon Mono right away. You need to buy one of these right now before you have a problem. Someone on my last video commented that it was too long. So here's the gist. This is the vat that the Photon Mono comes with. It is bad. This is the one you should buy. It's good. Links are down below. Now, if you'd like to know more and why, like if you have more than 30 seconds in your life, I'll show you exactly why. Okay, so this is the vat that the Photon Mono comes with. And it's plastic, which I, I don't mind. A lot of people complained that it wasn't metal. Um, it does sound right. It's actually printed really well for me. That's not the problem at all. I have used it, I've cleaned it, but I'm still wearing gloves because I don't want to have any contact. Here's the problem. Say it comes a time, which it's going to, where you need to replace the FEP. I don't know if you can see this. I have just a little distortion. Really, this is this vat, there's nothing wrong with it today at all, but it's gonna need the FEP replaced. And I'm gonna show you what happens when you try and do that. Okay, all those are out. I, I took them out in alternating order a little bit. It doesn't really matter taking it out. It's more about putting it in. So here, you've got your sheet. You've got your FEP. You want to replace it. Now, if you've watched any other reviews on how to do this, you take out the FEP, you flip it over, and you start taking out the screws. The screws from this side. There are no screws on this side. They're not there. This FEP is not made to be replaced. There is a sheet, you, you can actually kind of see, see there's a gap in there. It's glued together. I don't know how well that's gonna come through. But yeah, there's a line there and it's glued together. It's not screwed together. One of the ways that Anycubic advertised the Mono was it's easily replaceable FEPS. And that's true because what their plan is, is they're gonna sell you this whole piece and have it interchangeable. Now, as of today, you can't buy them. Like if you need to replace the FEP on your mono, you, you can't do it. You can't buy these yet. Now I'll have links down for these below when they are available because they will be available eventually. And you know what? The idea isn't terrible. You buy this, it makes it easier. You don't have to punch holes in it. By this, all you do is you put it back in, you screw it back down, you're done. Just can't do that yet. So while this vat has worked very well for me, uh, I, I needed other options. I know some people have actually taken this apart and re-glued a piece in there and got it trimmed. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just afraid. You're not gonna get it right. Oh, there you go, there's a gap there. You can kind of see. Anyway, when the real FEPs are available for this, I'll probably do a video for here, but for now, I'm, I'm not gonna put this back in. I've uh, Once it's been stretched, it's not gonna go back in right. And the only reason I did that, this is actually the second time I recorded this video because originally it was kind of a test. I've tested it, I love it. This is what I love, this is what I've switched to. This is the Sovel 3D, now this mat, this is not sponsored or anything. Uh, this mat is available when you buy these trays, they are available in one or two packs and you get a discount for these other mats. So this is just a mat with a little bit of an edge to it that I got because there was a discount for it. And what did I just do? Okay, so you also have to be very, very careful because I just ruined this one. See that pinhole that I just put in this thing? Son of a... So I guess the next video is going to be how to replace the FEP in this sheet. What I did is there was a little piece of sprue on the mat and I set it down. There it is. I set it right on top of that, punched a hole right in the thing. But besides that, part of the reason is if I had done that to this, I'd be totally out of luck. Now with this, I have sheets that I can put on um, I have another one of these that I've been using. I love the markers that are on it. Uh, they have, I fill it up to the max. The max on this one, which you can just barely see if I get the light right, and this is the same problem when it's printing, is it's 250 milliliters. This one, max, is 300 milliliters. It's much easier to see and it works really, really well. Now the pour spout on this one isn't quite as good as the stock one. I, I do like the stock one for that, but uh, this one's not quite as good, but it fits in perfectly. I just put it in. I didn't re-level at all. I put it in, I screwed it down, I filled it to the max, and I've been printing ever since, and it's been great. I ordered the spare just because I want to have an extra around. If I need to replace a FEP and I don't want to have to stop printing, I want to be able to have it ready to go. This is uh, very, very strong compared to I, mean, I, I can bend this a little bit. Honestly, the plastic one's pretty strong. Some people have reported if they try and clean this with IPA, the black comes off. Well, it, yeah, it comes off and they get black on the paper towel. 
not a big deal. But in the long run, this is a much better option. Just make sure when you set it down, you are very careful. So what I should have done, the other nice thing is it comes with these nice mats to set it into. So when you're storing it, you're supposed to put it in here. I may have the bottom there. I think they're the same. There, you do that so you don't ruin it like, like I just did. So I've got a little clip here of the very first time I used it when I put it in. Uh, Okay, I have it installed here. It looks good so far. It went in just fine. And it looks like, I like the measurements a lot. They're really easy to read compared to the stock ones. And also it looks like it'll hold 50 milliliters more uh, than the stock one. Looks like to me that's 300 milliliters. Uh, that was kind of an FAQ video that I will be updating, but I like this part so much that it deserved a review of its own and you should get some of these right away. It's a very, very nice upgrade for the Photon Mono. That's going to be the end of this video. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what else you want to see. I have a uh, Mono X in the other room that just arrived yesterday. It's uh, adjusting temperature and it will be set up today. If you want to see a FEP install video on this thing, I'm such an idiot. I can feel the hole. I don't know if it went all the way through, but there's no way I'm going to print with that. Oh yeah, there I can feel. It. It's huge. So if you want to see that, well, it's probably going to be next. I'll probably record it right, right now. But until next time, remember, if you're going to be a geek, be an elite geek.